was 18 and we have got a chilling confession of the ISIS bomber that was detained by Russia. Now this ISIS bomber has said and I quote him here that he had to meet a handler in India who would have provided him with the necessary materials for the terrorist attack and then he was supposed to be given things here in the country to commit a terrorist attack at the behest of the Islamic State for insulting Prophet Muhammad. This is the latest, a big development that's coming in on CNN News 18, a confession there by the ISIS bomber. My colleague Abhishek, who's brought us those inputs, uh, joins me on the broadcast. Abhishek, this is a big development. There is a confession and now this particular incident has been connected to the entire row over Prophet Muhammad. Uh, of course, there are like two uh, very uh, startling revelation uh, that has happened uh, in the interrogation of this person who has been nabbed by the Russian agency. First is that his motive, uh, that why was he trying to uh, do these terrorist activities in India? And this was, uh, this has come to the fact that uh, he was trying to trying to take some sort of, uh, you know, in, in vengeance uh, about this Prophet Muhammad's remark that has happened in the last few months. Uh, so that was the reason. The another major concerning part is that uh, he was supposed to get all the logistical uh, resources and help and the thing uh, that has come out uh, as a word uh, in those uh, transcripts uh, for conducting that major terrorist strike that he was supposed to do on a very uh, high profile individual from the ruling dispensation. So uh, apparently this says that there are actively uh, modules, active modules of IS uh, which are operating in the country and they are hiding. Uh, beneath uh, the superficial uh, ground. Uh, and we also have seen that the reports are coming in that uh, Indian agencies were had were uh, informed about such apparent uh, terrorist activity uh, like few weeks ago. And in the last week of July, there had happened a national level ATS meeting also where such inputs were discussed. And we have seen in the last few weeks only, there has been so many raids across the country, including Bihar and other parts of the country also, hmm. where many... IS modules have been uncovered. So apparently, uh, those at uh, those raids that we have seen in the past few weeks, they were uh, after certain intelligence inputs were received uh, by the uh, security agencies, and now uh, probably that that the whole story is getting completed with the arrest of this person who has been arrested by the Russian agencies in Moscow. That the whole idea, the whole uh, the whole mission was to target one individual from the government side. And the target was very high profile. The person who came from Turkey via Russia, he was supposed to come into India and conduct this major high profile terrorist assassination, probably. And it has been duly averted because the Russian agency right. has acted uh, in due time. And now we assume that uh, Indian agencies are in touch with uh, their Russian counterparts. And very soon, uh, they will also have uh, more, uh, you know, uh, more, more more models where they can interact with the uh, with that uh, terrorist individual and they can ascertain uh, the facts as to who all were behind this uh, uh, network, uh, what kind of support he was supposed to get in India, who all were the person who were supposed right. to provide him resources and things to conduct those terrorist strikes, and probably the targeted the assassination, the attempt on whose life he was targeting uh, in India. Right, Abhishek, thank you so much for bringing us up to speed with that very important development that we are very closely tracking right here on CNN News 18. Startling developments that have come to light on this big story. Now we have a confession from the ISIS operative who in fact wanted to actually come into India to attack a high profile BJP leader. And all this is now linked to the row over Prophet Muhammad. Also joining